Just a year ago, after the Geico 500, Dale Earnhardt Jr. found himself cruising right into victory lane. That was win number six here, giving him the most wins at Talladega of any active driver. The only one I can remember is last year's. Uh, I done forgot all the other ones. Junior not referring to the race that he won here last season, but instead the fall race in which he came up inches short of taking the checkered flag. The race I ran here last year I thought was the best race I'd ever ran at Talladega, and it'll not really ever get remembered because I didn't win. So I'm disappointed because we, what happened in that race and what we were doing with the car and what the car was doing uh, was amazing. That car named Amelia almost became an afterthought. The car that Junior never finished lower than third in, almost gone forever after wrecking in the Daytona 500 in the season opener. But she's been restored and ready to go racing. Hopefully those guys improved it just a little bit more and, uh, and we'll have a good, good race on Sunday. Junior also hopes to get another shot at writing a happy ending on one of the most storied tracks attached to the Earnhardt name. That was actually the the anniversary of the, the, the my father's last win, and man, he gets he get a bit envious. He gets so much uh, credit for what a what a race that was and how we came back and all that stuff. And man, I thought I was writing my own little story uh, here last last uh, fall, but it just didn't work out for me. So we'll have to try again this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. Lauren Sisler, CBS 42 Sports.